Why do we not wear Odin's spear? Gungnir, Odin's spear, not widely worn today, nor was it worn widely in the Viking Age, but Thor's hammer was, and is today, by many of us. Why is that? Why do we not wear Odin's spear, but we do wear Thor's hammer? Whether it's heathen, Norse pagan, us are true, Fawn see the Viking Age reenactors, or the metal community, we all wear Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, the symbol of the old Norse ways, right? But we do not generally wear Gungnir Odin's spear. But why not? Why is Odin's spear not the symbol of the old ways, but Thor's hammer is? Well, let's consider this. Odin would be the main Norse deity, Thor as well, but Odin, called the Allfather, and and so why not wear Odin's spear as the symbol of Norse heathenry if, if Odin's the main deity, right? Why is it that Thor's hammer is the symbol? Well, Thor, a very significant deity as well, but still, this occurred to me. And then I thought, well, what, what do these actually symbolize? It might give us the answer. The spear was thrown to initiate battle. Like in the Voluspa, uh, Odin throws the spear to initiate battle with the Asir Vanir war. Historically, the Romans would throw their javelins to initiate battle. The Germanic peoples would wave their spears, clash them on their shields and throw them to initiate battle. And so the spear is really symbolizing initiating battle. And the primary weapon of warfare throughout history. So the spear is symbolizing battle, conflict and death. Is that really something we want to adorn ourselves with? Is that really something we want to invoke? Maybe, and there are people out there who would want to. For most of us, we probably want to invoke, we, we want peace, prosperity, health, frith, fertility, protection, strength and vitality. And this is, you know, some of the symbolism of Thor's hammer. We probably don't want battle, conflict, and death. And that's, uh, it seems to me, what Odin's spear is symbolizing. So people did not wear Odin's spear in the Viking Age for this reason, probably, and as well as today. Whereas Thor's hammer is symbolizing guarding our world from the destructive forces, the, the giants, the Etans, and the Norse myths, maintaining order in Midgard, allowing for life to exist, the bringer of peace and prosperity to mankind, and also, you know, strength and vitality, fertility possibly. <coughs> Thor brings a goat back to life from death in the Norse myths. He halos Baldur's funeral ship pyre in the Norse myths. And so we can see it's this powerful, beautiful, life-affirming, protective symbol and a symbol of the old Norse ways, right? And then there's Odin's spear. Battle, conflict, death. So, yeah, it should be pretty obvious why Thor's hammer was worn historically, why it's worn today, but Odin's spear, not so much. It's, yeah, I don't really need to explain it more than that. I think that should be pretty obvious. And this is why people do not wear Odin Spear. That's my thoughts anyway, but uh, what do you think? Maybe you, well, maybe you agree or disagree. Maybe you've got something to add. Uh, add to the discussion. Let me know. Let me know in the comments because, you know, I find this stuff very interesting. It's a bit of an ongoing series I have here on why do we wear Thor's hammer? Why do we not wear Odin Spear? What is the meaning of Thor's hammer? What is the meaning of the Norse myths? And uh, that's about it, really. I'm just going to add an epilogue here because I had to think about why do we wear Odin's spear and the points that I made. And a lot of it's focused on war and death and almost negative. So I wanted to balance this content out a little bit and talk about a little more on the symbolism of Odin's spear. So Odin's spear is called Gungnir, meaning swaying, possibly because that's what spears do. When they're thrown, 
javelins and throwing spears would sway through the air, possibly because they would be whirled and swirled in the air before a battle to intimidate the other side. Imagine a thousand spears slicing through the air. Imagine the sound. And beaten on shields. And that's a possible, that possible meaning of gungnir, swaying. So the spear that Odin pierced himself with as an initiation into the runes and the Norse myths, the shamanic initiation into the wisdom of the runes, the mysteries of the universe perhaps. So Odin spears himself, sacrifices himself to attain the knowledge. And so the spear, well, I guess there's still the symbol of death there, but here it's more about obtaining knowledge, uh, wisdom, the mysteries of the runes. And so the spear is possibly symbolizing initiation into the deeper meaning of the runes, wisdom of the universe. And so there's these other aspects of Odin's spear. And there's these other aspects of Odin. He's not just a god of war and death, but master of mead and poetry, wisdom and the runes. Then there's the symbolism of like the wizard staff or the scepter perhaps so we have you know the symbol of the ruler the leader the head of the gods or to spearhead to initiate and so the spear can symbolize leadership and governance perhaps and so there's just some some additional thoughts there to touch upon some of the meaning the symbolism of Odin's spear because I didn't want to just leave it all about death and war I still think that's valid, reasons why we don't wear Odin's spear. But to some extent, perhaps we do. I'm wearing a t-shirt with a spear on it. Uh, is it Odin's spear? Well, it's just a spear. But to some extent, I guess, the spear is worn, just not widely like Thor's hammer, and not the symbol, not even a significant symbol, really, for heathenry, for... Norse paganism, us are true, the old ways, and so on. And I just wanted to add a few few of those extra points. So I'll leave it at that. And uh, what do you think? Let me know. <laughs>